Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain what you mean by order of growth. See, the terminologies like uh, order of growth, basic efficiency classes, time complexity, asymptotic notations, all we are using in this entire course, design and analysis of algorithms. Okay. So now, in the previous videos, we learned what you mean by time complexity. Time complexity is nothing but what? Total time taken by an algorithm to run completely and efficiently. And whenever we want to represent the time complexity of any algorithm, we have to use any one of these mathematical functions. So the mathematical function used to represent the time complexity of an algorithm is called as a basic efficiency class. And in all these things, we use the n. Here n indicates the problem size. In the entire course, I am using n which indicates the problem size. So let us see what do you mean by problem size. Assume the, we are done on program. Assume this program is performing addition operation. And this program is performing addition operation on two inputs. Okay. So this, uh, this program is operating on how many inputs? Two inputs. So the problem size of this program is 2. Similarly, assume this program is sorting some 10 elements. So now this program is sorting how many elements or this program is operating on how many input elements? 10. So the problem size of this program is now 10. Assume this program is performing, is performing some searching operation. Assume we return this program to search the given elements in an 100 elements. One key element in 100 elements. So what is the uh, problem size? 100. So in general, the number of inputs on which our algorithm works, that will call it as a problem size. Okay. The number of inputs on which our algorithm works is called as a problem size. Now, any program, so that will works very faster for a few inputs. That means, if the problem size is very, very small, programs works very faster. If we increase slightly, okay, if we increase slightly the problem size, then obviously time taken by our program also increases. Suppose, assume we want to perform some addition operation on two numbers. So, obviously take very less time, only one time you need to do operations, it is take very less time. Suppose same program written to add 5 elements. Obviously it will take little more time. So then assume the same program we return to add 10 numbers. So definitely it will take even much more time. That means as the number of inputs increases, increases the time taken by the program also increases. That change in that means in what order in what order the behavior of our algorithm or the program varies as we increase the problem size as we increase the problem size how it will change us so that we need to study okay the process of studying the change in the behavior of an algorithm as we increase the problem size is called order of growth so the behavior of an algorithm changes or varies as the value of n increases that means problem size increases this change in the behavior of an algorithm as the problem size increases is called what order of growth is called order of growth okay let us see with an example assume we have written a program to do addition Assume if we give two number of inputs, let us take inputs are given 1 and 2. So obviously it will give results in very very less time, within no time it will give the result. So here the problem size is 2. So suppose if I give three inputs, say let us take 1 plus 2 plus 3. So again it is no, doesn't take any more, too much of time, so it will take within a, within a fraction of no, seconds it will give the output. Suppose four inputs, similarly five inputs. Okay, suppose assume we have given some five different inputs like this. So obviously it will take more time and compared to the number problem says 2. Similarly, if you keep increasing the problem says number of inputs, so let us take 10. Obviously it will take more time when compared to all this. So that means as the problem size keep increasing, as the problem size increasing, 
time taken by an algorithm also increases okay this change in the behavior of an algorithm when the problem size increases is called as an order of growth okay obviously so in terms of software also if the software is taking only little bit inputs load obviously it will take very less time when we are giving too many number of inputs so definitely it will taking too much of time so at that time our program is taking more time or sometimes it may hang also as we give more number of inputs okay so that change of the behavior in our algorithm as we increase the problem size that we need to study so the study of change in the behavior of an algorithm as we increase the problem size is called as an order of growth so again always the order of growth we should represent in terms of again mathematical functions that is basic efficiency class so among these basic efficiency class the least one is one that means if whichever the algorithm is taking always the constant time for any of the problem size then we'll say that algorithm is faster if that algorithm is taking some time linear that is n we'll also send this file so n log n n log n if any algorithm is taking up to this one so we'll say faster if i say n square or if any algorithm is taking time in terms of n square or n cube so it will be little bit slower but these two mathematical function 2 to the power of n that is exponential and factorial these are much slower algorithm that means whichever the algorithm is consuming the time in terms of this exponential or in the factorial then that algorithms are when slowest when compared to other algorithms so the order of growth of this these uh, can be represented as so let us take some n values let us take n is equal to 1 2 4 8 16 32 so on these are the mathematical function log n that is log 1 is 0 log 2 to the base 2 is 1 similarly log 4 is 2 log 8 is 3 log 16 is 4 log 32 5 similarly n value it is n into log n 0 into 1 0 2 2 4 is 8 3 24 like this n into log n similarly n square this is n cube 2 to the power of n n factorial now from this table so we will came to know that so mathematical function n factorial is much slower and the uh, algorithm which is taking n or log n or n log n are what may be faster that means whichever the algorithm is consuming the time so in terms of logarithmic or linear that is n okay they are faster if they are taking in terms of exponential or in factorial then they are very much slower okay from that we can write this equation one always less than log n which is less than n and less than n into log n less than which is n square uh, less than n square which is less than n cube which is less than 2 to the power of n which is less than n, n factorial this is our order of growth hope you people understood thank you